decided I was going to record what I'm making myself for breakfast. The kids wanted grilled cheese. They didn't want none of my fancy stuff. <laughs> I made myself seafood lasagna eggs. Oh my gosh. I've got shrimp, garlic, onion, sun-dried tomatoes, ricotta cheese, and fresh Parmesan cheese mixed in with my eggs, Italian seasonings, and voila, deliciousness this morning. And they wanted that when they could have this. I just clean out the bird cage. He's putting the food in. We decided to take that wire rack off the bottom. I don't know why, because they don't ever walk on the bottom. And we're going to figure out names for you two, birdies. Uh, how about we call them birdie and birdie? You're not allowed to name the birds. <laughs> why? Hey, birdies. I'm hey. Just kidding. Hey. Alright, I'm looking pretty rough this morning. I got my Bantu knots in, but it's Sunday, so it's a relaxed day, and I'm not getting dressed up, no makeup, no earrings, because I don't plan on going anywhere. But yeah, we just spend the next, or the last 10 minutes outside cleaning the birdcage, and we're weaning them off their old food and putting them on the new food, so we mixed half and half with the old and the new. So, yeah, that's how we're spending our day. Right now we're watching... Master Chef Junior, and I'm about to finish clean the living room, which is not really that bad for real. Just a little odds and ends here and there. Reginae! Reginae! I'm a kitty. You're a kitty? Uh huh. Alright. So that's what we've been doing this morning. So I'm going to straighten up and then up. Journey Antoinette. Give me some of that. Thank you. It's some time. It's time. It's time for somebody to take a nap. All right, so I'm gonna put her down for a nap because it's time. Hey, Ginger. Jenny, <laughs> follow me. Follow me. Now go follow me. And an admiral amount of strength. Over here. Look at the Christmas tree. I got a lot about to talk you. about you. Well done. Thank you. We're watching TV, Master Self. The Christmas tree. Yeah, I'm going to go to the bathroom. Okay. Hey, Jenny. 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 Hey,
no, not not tonight. We're gonna do it really simple. We're gonna make cheese noodles. That's like a four or five dollar meal. Really cheap, really simple. Go ahead. Ooh. Anybody got to moves like that? Let me get them settled because I am so exhausted. I'm ready to sit down and I still have yet to upload the videos from yesterday's, for yesterday's vlog. And she's got Hotel Transylvania. Yeah. And um, I have to edit those. So I'm going to have a late night. So it's going to be coffee. All right. I finally got this little girl to go to sleep at 1143, I think it is. I don't know. She is just refusing to get on a regular schedule and go to bed at a decent time if I'm not in the bed with her. So I let her KO right here on the floor. I was laying down here watching um, Hulu and some YouTube, trying to wait it out with her. And an hour later, she is finally asleep. She's so active. She's so active. Mm -hmm. So. At 11 something at night, I am going to finally be able to get in my chair and edit the vlog from yesterday. It's going up super late and I might as well start uploading the videos from today's vlog for tomorrow's editing. I'm off tomorrow so I have God, a lot of errands that I have to run, like a lot. I'm going to go back up to my old university. I dropped out like two years ago and see what I would have to do to re-enroll in school. Just like bad decision on my part. So I'm going to see if I'm allowed to be on academic probation again and try it out two years later. I don't know. I just, my goal to get a degree. I don't care basically at this point in my life what it's in. I just want to have a degree because I can't honestly push my kids to further their education beyond high school if I'm not like leading by example and even though I'm about to be 33 it's never too old to go to school my mom is in her 50s and she got her first degree in her 50s so she's like motivation for me also I need to go um take care of a ticket tomorrow which is going to be free um, I had a headlight that was not working and so as long as I replace it I don't get a ticket and I replaced it like a month ago and I'm just now going to take care of this ticket because my court date is on the 9th and I work the 9th and I don't want to see in the courthouse so what makes that so bad is my tail light is out now so I have to get that fixed it's just a oh, never ending cycle with this car it's got like a shortage somewhere so I have to replace my head like like once a month and my tail light every two months basically I cannot wait to get a new car and then um, I have a doctor's appointment in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog. Mm -hmm. Hopefully I'm in frame and it cut out like mm -hmm. my eyes and stuff. And I hope you guys had a good Sunday. My Sunday was so, so, so. <laughs> and until tomorrow, good night. Good morning, guys. Today is Monday, December the 7th. I just dropped Nay off at school. Bam's not feeling well. I think he has strep throat, so I'm going to call his doctor today and see if I can get him in for a checkup. If not, I'm just going to have to walk in and sit because I really think he has strep throat. He's just his, He said it hurts when he swallows, and I checked his throat. I didn't see any white spots, but they're going to swab it just to be on the safe side. I'm on my way to actually go and pay a bill this morning for my mom <laughs> because that's what I do. I think I mentioned it in a previous video that she doesn't drive. So I don't mind taking her around doing what she needs to do or running errands for her. That's what I'm about to do this morning. I'm going to avoid Jack's. Go home and actually probably fix me some oatmeal or something I don't know <clears throat> it's just like I feel like my voice am I just a little bit off I had strep throat oh, about a month and a half ago but I don't have insurance so I had to cure it naturally and a lot of people don't understand that when they go to the doctor the antibiotics that they get does not cure strep throat I'm gonna get together it does not cure strep throat. It just makes you um, 
not contagious like you're still contagious the first 48 hours but after that it's supposed to make you not contagious but strep throat is one of those things that has to heal on its own so you can um uh, like treat the symptoms around it like the sore throat and stuff but the strep throat itself and I could be wrong but that's just due to my research what I do I know Bam's not going to be able to do so I'm going to go ahead and give him the antibiotics so we can treat his symptoms because I don't want him to be in like unnecessary pain but I use lemon garlic apple cider vinegar and a lot of detox tea because I want it to detox the toxins out of my system and um, my strep throat like the spots in my throat start going away once I start gargling and honey did I say that honey lemon garlic apple cider vinegar whatever but after gargling that I was gargling that like every three or four hours and then drinking the detox tea to get the toxins out of my system the spots on my throat were gone completely after I started noticing them within three or four days they might have got it from school water fountains or whatever they do in school when I'm not there to supervise them and tell them don't touch don't eat that don't <laughs> Don't bring out the little Timmy. I would like to try to heal myself naturally as much as possible. I don't like using antibiotics because I'm one of those people that have like, when it says you, okay, I'm just gonna give an example. Say for instance, I'm using an antibiotic because I've got massive eye infection. The side effects of having is taking these antibiotics is that you could develop a headache, um, back pain, you know, all those odd list of things that they list on the back of medicines and nine times out of ten I experience those symptoms so you're curing what I originally had but you're giving me like six or seven new ailments yeah so I try to go as natural as possible and I probably need to start taking Ignatia and I'm probably pronouncing that incorrectly so I'm gonna put the spelling somewhere on the screen but I probably need to start taking that again I usually take that in vitamin C in the winter and that stops me from getting sick seriously lots and lots of vitamin c so yeah i'm rambling hope you guys are having a good morning let me go ahead and pay these bills so i can head home and put my face on because i have lots and lots of errands that i need to run this morning and if i go home and sit down i already know that i'm going to get lazy and not go anywhere and i have to have all of these errands done before 2 30 so i can go to my doctor's appointment so yeah I'm about to go take care of that. Okay, I've put my face on and now I'm about to go ahead and grab me something to eat. I am starving, so I'll probably make me another omelet or something for breakfast instead of oatmeal because I feel like oatmeal is not going to fill me up. But yeah, I decided to, I know you probably can't see that experiment with different browns on my eyes because usually lately for the past couple of weeks I've been doing just bronzer all over my eyelids eyeliner and just keep it moving but today I decided to switch it up I called to make an appointment to go up to the courthouse to have them inspect my headlight and the police officer didn't even write it as a ticket he only write, wrote it as a warning so technically I don't have to bring my car up there as long as it's fixed and it is fixed, so that is saving me a trip and a wait time at the courthouse, which I'm super excited about because I didn't want to go up there. <laughs> and so right now I've just been calling um, JSU's financial aid office trying to get through to someone because I want to see if I can get as many questions um, or as many of my questions answered without having to actually drive up there just in case I have to bring any additional documentation or whatever. So I'm excited about Going back to school, which I'll need to make an entirely separate vlog about that. I'll talk about that um, in another vlog. But yeah, let me go ahead and grab me something to eat, drink my coffee, warm it up for the third time, and sit down and watch Quantico while I'm trying to get in touch with JSU. I feel pretty productive today, and I haven't even left my house to do any of my errands. But I've basically checked off the one item on my to-do list that I didn't really want to you know, to do. <laughs> so special. Let me go do that. All right. Sauteing some onions for my eggs this morning. Just going to do a veggie omelet or a scrambled omelet, which is basically scrambled eggs with onions. Um, I've seasoned it with black pepper, garlic granules, Italian seasoning, parsley flakes, accent, and then I've added, um, 
some ground turmeric and some curry. I'm gonna let those get soft for about another minute or more. And then I'm going to add in a little bit of red curry paste, a little bit of sun-dried tomatoes, and I'm gonna go ahead and add in some garlic. Okay, and went the garlic, the sun-dried tomatoes, the curry paste, now I'm about to crack my eggs and get to scrambling. I know a lot of people look at my videos and some of the flavors that I mix together and think, oh my God, that is so disgusting, but Please believe me, these flavors together are amazing. I am a connoisseur when it comes to, you know, exotic tasting food. So, if you haven't tried it, I highly suggest you do. It's delicious. I like my eggs to be creamy, so I added in two big old chunks of ricotta cheese. Let me go ahead and get this cooking, and I'll show you the finished product. Those are my finished eggs. I still got big chunks of ricotta cheese in there, and I love it. I am a uh, ricotta cheese Super fan, as y'all already know, that's my favorite part of lasagna is the ricotta cheese layer. And when I made my homemade lasagna for the first time, I put in like a really thick layer of ricotta cheese and it turned out delicious. So I'm about to grab my coffee, watch Quantico, and keep calling JSU until they answer because I am determined to get my teaching degree. I need that. And I don't care if I'm 40 years old when I get it. <laughs> I know I'm probably making you guys dizzy. My kids are going to be washing down some walls and some baseboards today because this is just ridiculous. Nice, but I'm not going to get into that rant because no point in getting upset over something that I can't do until they get out of school. Okay, let me chow down while my eggs are still hot and my coffee's still hot. And wow, I'm super excited about watching Quantico, but check in with you later. Okay, so I finally got in contact with someone at JSU's financial aid, and I'm a little disappointed, and I'm trying not to be discouraged because getting my teaching degree is something that um, I am determined to do, and so I am... I'm feeling a little frustrated because I have a small obstacle in my way and it's my own fault because um, for the simple fact, during my last semester at JC, which was two years ago, I dropped out of my classes or actually not dropped out. I just didn't go for final exams. So I got an incomplete, a D and an F. I am my own worst enemy. I discourage myself. I beat myself up more than anybody ever could. I don't believe in myself. And this has been a problem I have had within myself since high school. And when I feel like I am going to lose at something or I feel defeated by any task that's astronomical, I just quit it. I have started several businesses that I've quit when the going has gotten tough. And I just didn't want to deal with it. I quit the businesses. Um, my website, I quit it. And I had it for years. It was a passion of mine. Like, I was really passionate about blogging. Um, my children's clothing boutique, I loved it. But I quit because I got a few bad, rotten customers that scammed me. And that just kind of, like, took my heart away from it. So I got discouraged in school because even though I'm almost halfway completed with my degree, I was just looking at that list of all the classes that I would have to take. And I'm like, there is no way that I'm going to be able to finish this in two years and I walked away from it I didn't even give myself the opportunity to fail or succeed for that matter I just completely walked away from it and now I'm finding myself in the situation that I am in now in order to be able to apply for academic proba probation I have to pay for an entire semester of classes out of pocket whether I get that money on my own or I apply for a loan, which I can't because in the previous videos, I have bad credit that I'm trying to fix. And I have to take at least three classes in one semester. I'm not sure about everybody else, but I just don't have $3,600 that is sitting around um, that I can use. So I am at the point where I'm um, trying to figure out how I'm going to do this because that is the only way that I will be able to get financial aid a Pell Grant, uh, a loan, 
through the government again as if I pay for a whole semester of classes. And it's so aggravating because the same things that I preach to my kids about not giving up and believing yourself being like your best cheerleader, I can't even apply to myself. And it's kind of embarrassing to even speak about it. But um, I don't know what is within myself that I don't I don't believe in myself. And it's just, it's pitiful and it's ridiculous. And I'm just having a hard time over here. I'm just really upset and frustrated right now. Just upset and frustrated because this is something that I want. I should have been teaching right now for almost 10 years. Not getting started when I'm about 40. Because basically that's what it feels like it's going to be. I'm not going to be able to get this degree until I'm about 40 years old. And the grades that I want to teach, I want to have energy and be able to run and play with the kids because I want to do like kindergarten because I don't know, it's just they're fresh and they're new and they're excited about school. I want to do like first grade, second grade. And if not, my second passion is teaching home economics, like in the high school setting, cooking and sewing and all that. Like I would strive in either one of those situations, being a kindergarten teacher or being home ec teacher because having a career... It's one of the steps in being able to be financially stable for my children and to leave them something to be proud of when I'm no longer on this earth. All right, guys. <laughs> it's about <clears throat> 1 o'clock in the morning, and um, I've dozed off a few times tonight. I'm just not feeling good, and I'm dirty and extra, 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 extra lately. And Bam has strep throat, which... I had already known because he has the spots on the back of his throat. So, um, we didn't get out of his doctor's office till about, oh, goodness, it's close to 6 o'clock. Excuse all the background noise. It's my heater going and my dishwasher at 1 o'clock in the morning. Um, and then um, Journey was just being so extra tonight. So, I went and my goal was to lay down with her for 30 minutes while she went to sleep. And I ended up dozing off. And then I got up um, to remind the boys to go to bed at 10.30, iron their clothes, you know, yada, yada, yada. And I laid back down to stop again. And then I finally got up at 1 o'clock in the morning. So um, I started the dishwasher and I put my bonnet on. So that's why I'm coming to you. <laughs> Guys looking like a cone head, but whatever. The price we pay for number one beauty number two healthy hair and i was supposed to vlog earlier when i was out and my phone i forgot to charge up before i left so it was dead so i saved as much of it as i could my battery for the doctor's office so i would have something to do i don't know i am super exhausted i found out at my doctor's appointment that everything's okay but my iron is super low like i think she said 8.4 and your iron is supposed to be anywhere between 12 and 14. I've always had really low iron, but as my iron gets lower, I find that I have decreased energy. I'm very sleepy. So they want me to start taking iron pills. It was so bad with, um, I'm going to say BAM or 2D's pregnancy that I had to start taking iron shots once a week. And those things burn like the, okay. <laughs> like it felt like liquid fire going into my behind once a week for like three months straight that's my iron had got down to like a four they said it was dangerous especially if I were to go into labor and had to have an emergency c-section and um I were to lose blood they it, my blood wouldn't clot and I could possibly bleed out you know with that being said I'm probably gonna go ahead and let you guys go because it is about to be be 130. Alright guys, until tomorrow. Good night. Mm -hmm.